Um, standard stock is you have, and this is the challenge. Let me see if we can get you here. Okay. So uh, there are some bolts here. Okay. I've actually reversed them so that they're poking out from the outside instead of uh, screwing in from poking out from the inside instead of screwing in from the outside. Still standard. You just change the bolt. Um, uh, so by default. You put the wheelbarrow handles here, straps on the outside. Uh, the issue, there's a couple of issues, is you can see there's a lot of stuff going on here. So if you were to put the, uh, the bolts in and the wheelbarrow handles, you got to take off the encoder arm, okay? Um, which isn't all that hard, but it takes time. Screwing them on and off, even if you don't have to take the encoders on and off, you know, that. 30 seconds screwing the bolts in for the, that kills me. I just, it's, it's unnecessary. So, um, dolly saves all that time. Um, again, if you were to put the, the wheelbarrow handles on, um, you'd have to take off the encoder arm because it's just, there's interference there. Uh, the other issue is you cannot use the, you, unlike other, like the classic, uh, obsession or the obsession clones or just about everything else you can observe with the wheelbarrow handle, wheel barrel handle still attached. But this you can't because it's on the mirror box. So you cannot move. You have to take the wheelbarrow handles off to move it in altitude. Okay, so right there, that's a bit of a mess. Also, you can see I got some things screwed on here. Uh, the altitude, um, what are they called? bearings, the altitude bearings have a stabilizer bar, which isn't necessarily necessary, but I've always kept them on. They say you don't need them, but uh, the stabilizer bar allows it to collapse into its box. You can't, excuse me, stabilizer bar uh, just stabilizes it. Uh, without the stabilizer bar, you can collapse the altitude bearing so it fits in its box. Okay, um, But I always keep it on. Um, and the thing is, you can see the shroud here uh, has uh, cutouts in it for the stabilizer arm. So if you're taking this apart, putting it together, you have to unscrew the stabilizer arm, put it through the shroud, put it back on. So um, if you're able to keep this set up and you have a dolly for it, like I said, you can be in and out just a few minutes. Um, setting it up doesn't take all that much time when you're transporting it to a site, 15 minutes. It's not bad. Just 15 minutes if you're going to pop outside and look at the one of those the planets or just sweep around the sky. Um, you know, if it takes you 15 minutes to pop outside, you're not going to pop outside. Um, as far as setup, it's not all that bad uh, if you have to set up anyway. Again, it's small, uh, but you can see there's a lot of stuff going on here, and they all kind of interfere with each other. So, um, because I don't have to break down anymore, because I don't really observe upstairs. Uh, that sort of complexity I really don't need.